you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. In this video, I'll demonstrate setting up a guest self-service wireless LAN with the Unleashed mobile app. By creating a guest WLAN, visitors to your organization can be allowed limited or unlimited access to your wireless network with configurable guest access policies. Using the self-service guest pass, users can self-authenticate their clients to the guest WLAN in one of two ways. The first is no sponsor approval. No restrictions. Any client can request a guest pass and it will be provided immediately. The second is sponsor approval. Guests are required to request a guest pass which must be approved by a sponsor before being delivered to the user via email or SMS. In this video we're going to demonstrate the no sponsor approach. So from the mobile apps main dashboard to create a guest self-service wireless LAN I would tap on the plus sign and under create WLANs I have a number of choices. So I'm going to go guest with self-service. I'm going to tap on that. And I'm going, to, I'm going to give the WLAN a name. And I'm going to call it guest underscore SS for self-service. It says this type of WLAN does not support passwords. So I'm going to customize my guest portal. If I want to do that, I can tap on that. It just gives me a little cheat sheet of how I can do things. And I can click on I've got it. So I can go ahead and customize this. If I tap on my logo at the top, that allows me to choose an image or use the camera. So I'll choose an image. And since I'm representing an art studio, I'll just pick a piece of art. And I can crop that photo. And we'll just crop it down a little bit. It says the size is 100 kilobits. OK, I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll press on done. It has a welcome message. I could edit that, but I'll just leave that alone. It says, welcome to the guest Wi-Fi. Please visit us online at a redirection URL. If I wanted to tap on that, I could edit that. So let's go ahead and tap on that. We'll put it in the Comscope website just for drill. And then I'll press done. So when I log in, after a successful login, it'll redirect me to that website. So this provides a look at what the portal is going to look like. You're going to enter your name and email and accept and connect. So we're going to go ahead and save it. For social media login, I could select Facebook or Google. I'm not going to do that right now because I just wanted to show the guest self-service WLAN at this point. Under the advanced, I could change my uplink rate if I wanted to, and we can go through there and scroll through what we want. I'm going to leave that disabled. For the downlink rate, I could go ahead and adjust that as well. For radios, I could turn on or off the 2.4, the 5 gigahertz radio. And if I want application recognition, I would turn that on. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Service schedule, we're going to go always on. But for example, if you were going to customize it, you could pick what hours and days of the week that you wanted your WLAN to be active. And that way you could prevent people from coming driving into your parking lot at night and camping out on your WLAN. So we're going to leave that on and then I'm going to press on done. That'll create the WLAN and it says the WLAN was created successfully. Press OK. So now you can see that we have two WLANs. We have the guest SS WLAN and the original one that we had. So if I tap on the wireless LAN that I just created, I could edit it by clicking on the pencil in the upper left if I wanted to make some adjustments on that. If I wanted to disable it, I could hit the next button over. If I wanted to delete it, I could hit the trash cans. And if I wanted to refresh it, I could hit the arrow keys up there. So now we have successfully created our guest self-service wireless LAN. And as you can see, it was very easy to set up the guest pass self-service wireless LAN. Mm -hmm.